Hi. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. I miss you guys so much. I hope everybody is doing well and I hope that you guys are having a good summer. Um, I know around here we're having a pretty good summer, but sometimes things are a little boring. We're not going to take any vacations this summer and sometimes every day just feels like the same as the day before. We spend a lot of time at home. Um, it would be nice to have a surprise now and then. Do you, any of you guys feel like that? Well, I was super encouraged today when I read this book that I'm going to read to you guys. It's called Jesus and the Very Big Surprise. So let's find out what kind of surprises Jesus has in store for us. Jesus always surprises everybody, even though he is the maker of all the planets and galaxies in the universe. Surprise! He came to earth as a little bitty baby. Look at that. And even though he is the king of kings, he wasn't born in a big, beautiful palace. Instead, surprise, he was born in a little stable where the smelly animals lived. And when Jesus grew up and started preaching and teaching, he surprised people all the time. One of his very favorite ways to surprise people was telling them stories about what God is really like. Some people thought God was always angry. Some people thought God was a trickster who liked to make bad things happen. And some people thought God didn't care about them at all. Of course, Jesus knew exactly what God was like. So he told a story about God's love in a way that would surprise everybody, even you. So let's listen to this story that Jesus told. It's called The Servants Who Waited by Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus told a story about servants waiting for their big, fancy master to come home from a great big wedding. It was their job to watch and wait. With the candles burning bright, the servants had to be ready for the moment the master would return. But that isn't easy. When the master is away, the servants keep very busy. There are dishes to wash and animals to feed and clothes to clean and pipe organs to polish. And when all that work is done, the servants still need to be ready. When the master comes home, they will serve him a midnight snack, fluff his pillow, bring him his best robe, and read him a bedtime story. But until then, they wait and wait and wait until finally the master returns. But the servants are in for a big surprise. Look at that master right there. He is not what they were expecting. Come and rest, says the master. You must be tired from waiting up for me. Come, sit down at my table and I will serve you. I know just what you need. The end. In Jesus' story, the master loves his servants so much that he puts on the servants' clothes and he serves them instead. What kind of a master would love like that? What kind of God would choose to be a servant? Surprise, Jesus would. He is the great master who serves. And like the master in the story, Jesus surprised everyone 
by using his power to serve. He suffered and died on the cross so that we could live with him forever. But Jesus still had one more very big surprise. He came alive again. Remember that story? Then he went back to his father in heaven and sent his Holy Spirit to stay with us until he returns. No one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. It could be any minute. And just like the servants in his story, we have plenty to do while we wait. There are hungry people to feed and lonely people to care for, friends to share with, and enemies to forgive. And it all begins with loving Jesus, the great master who serves. He knows what we need because he is what we need. So get ready. The master is coming. So just be encouraged today that Jesus is a God of surprises. And if you feel weary from serving God or waiting for school to start back or any of those things, um, just know that Jesus cares about you and loves you and he is coming back and he is a God who, who serves us even though he deserves to be served. Um, he takes care of us and loves us. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.